Welcome to Ramesh Kakan's inspirational and relaxing videos. We should understand that man is slave of habits. Habits form nature of a person and then that nature becomes the personality and it becomes life of a person. Today's undiscovered question, are sinners punished? Ends at end of video, man trying to get blanket from river. Once a man was sitting with his friends on the riverbank. Just then, man saw a blanket floating in the river. As soon as man saw that blanket, he jumped into the river to catch it. After a while, he felt as if that blanket had caught hold of him and was carrying him away. He started shouting for help and called out to his friends. Friends who were sitting on riverbank said, leave the blanket. Man shouted and replied, first I had caught hold of blanket, but now this blanket has caught hold of me. I want to leave it, but it is not leaving me. Soon they realized that it was not a blanket, but a bear which looked like a blanket when seen from above. Now that bear had caught hold of him. Such are bad habits. First we catch them, but then it catches hold of us and take us away with it. Even if we try to get rid of it, we couldn't. We should understand that man is slave of habits. Habits form nature of a person, and then that nature becomes the personality, and it becomes life of a person. Therefore, when a habit has to be formed, then we should try to form good habit. Story 2. King Question. Are sinners punished? One day, a king went to his guru and asked, Acharya, you say that those who commit sins definitely get punished. But when we see around, it seems that sinners enjoy happiness. Guru replied, O king, when an injustice is done, it is not punished immediately. Just like when a cow is served, it gives milk after some time, or after plowing and sowing the fields, one gets grains after a few months. In same way, the punishment for sin and the reward for virtuous deeds are certain, but over a certain period of time. You may also like man searching touchstones, habits in life search. Keywords, man jumped in river to catch, story about habits, story about wrongdoings and sinners, story to motivate one to adapt good habits, story to motivate one to do good only, king and guru story, man and friends story, story about bad habits in life, short story for kids, story with life lesso. Today in vision, we see about meditation. Curiosity peaked about meditation. Perhaps you've dipped your toes in the tranquil waters of mindfulness, or maybe you're standing on the shore contemplating the dive. Whichever stage you find yourself in, this journey of inner exploration can be as simple as taking a deep breath. Imagine meditation as a melody, each note representing a step in the process. The first note, counting breath, invites you to focus on the rhythmic flow of your breath, using counting as an anchor to enhance awareness. The melody then ascends to the next note, counting pulses in head. Here you deepen your mindfulness by tuning into the subtle pulse within your head, connecting with the internal rhythm of your body. The third note, reflecting on known people, encourages you to expand your consciousness. Consider the number of relatives and other individuals known to you on earth, acknowledging the richness of your relationships. Share your thought energy for their well-being. The melody then transports you to journey to holy places, Transport your mind to sacred locations and places on earth, whether visited or known, immersing yourself in the spiritual essence of these places. Next, the melody takes a nostalgic turn with recalling life memories. Take a chronological trip through your life, reflecting on memories from birth to the present and projecting forward to anticipate new experiences until you reach a hundred years of age. The rhythm then delves into the profound with exploring inner body parts. This note invites you to delve into a profound awareness of your physical being, from the macroscopic view down to the cellular and atomic levels. The penultimate note, reflecting on relationships, encourages contemplation on people who were once part of your life but are no longer present, as well as those who may join your journey in the future. Lastly, in line with our vision Nilgiris 2050, the final note takes your mind and thoughts to space. Among the stars and galaxies, imagine yourself enjoying the ultimate pleasure of existence. In the Grand Symphony of Meditation, remember this. The key is not to control your thoughts, but to observe and experience them. The gradual increase in meditation time, facilitated by setting alarms, encourages a deeper and more immersive practice. This holistic approach fosters mindfulness across various dimensions of your existence. So, we've journeyed through the melody of meditation, from the simplicity of breath counting 
to the vastness of cosmic contemplation. Each step, each note, is an invitation to explore, reflect, and connect. As you continue on this path, may you find tranquility, clarity, and a deeper understanding of yourself and the universe. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. Happy meditating. Encouraging our community to steer clear of detrimental habits is paramount for our shared well-being and advancement. Nurturing a vision like the vision the Nilgiri's 2050 inches demands a united effort to sculpt a positive future. In conclusion, thank you for tuning in, presented by Ramesh Kakan. Your active participation through comments, shares, and subscriptions plays a vital role in raising awareness about the vision Nilgiris 2050 initiatives. Together, let's forge a community committed to positive change. Your contribution is invaluable in shaping the future we aspire to achieve.